fake pastors and how they 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 they, they, they are bringing confusion mention your name it means i'm calling you a fake prophet but i mean but they say who the cuff is let him wear it so mahama is coming back oh, yes. oh. 2024 <laughs> power is leaving npp to ndc and the left and right and god said this number one is coming back and he will now change the nation around he will make the nation beautiful it's a john bill we need to move away man mama maninda i mean mama maninda police station mama maninda the night of december his excellency dr mahmoud baumia shall be crowned the president the next 90 days that Mahama will not be president there. But I saw Mahama approaching the throne. He himself doesn't call me. You will not get it. So how in the name of God, I'm talking to you false prophets. Mm -hmm. How in the name of God will God appear to one of you false prophets out there? Because and you may be I don't know. And somehow this by the way i think that god has a ghana card and you who in ghana will go and knock on any pastors they say i'm pacho but i'm here i'm here to burn you alive bull crap you and i know that that will never happen at west we see you in time say hey, you know, I'm show, no, and then, no, no, then you move on but even then they will find a reason biblically and tell you oh god told them that Baumia will win but this is why he didn't win or something they'll give you a biblical explanation there's a bible scripture that says though the vision may tarry it will surely happen so that's the excuse oh yeah at that point now i, I thought it was muhammad time the car you know but i'm not just said but the god's vision it is just that. i mean folks so so you're telling me now that this omnipotent God is not sure and God will tell you that uh, Mahama will win I want you to take let, let's listen to somebody that God has spoken to God personally one-on-one -on -one, spoke to them and this one I'm going to show is God telling them that Mahama will win take a look at this the Lord took me to Ghana and the Lord said I should say to everyone listen to me there our politicians that are submitted to me in Ghana. The Lord says, I should say to you that um, 2024, power is leaving NPP to NDC. I'm saying this in clear terms. And the Lord said to me that if you have been thriving on the economy of Ghana by changing by changing another currency to CD so as to make more profit, in from 2024 you'll be disappointed because the economy will have a rise, will have a boom. I see power leaving NPP to NDC in Ghana. My eyes opened strangely at dawn and the Lord took me, my spirit, he carried me and I saw the president now handing over something to number one of that party waiting and there was a makeup Ghana flag, this flag, the makeup on the cheek and the left and right and God said this number one is coming back and he will now change the nation around he will make the nation beautiful Jerry the guy is like you oh God why don't you come and talk to me like that I'm always in the office or oh, you want to separate please <laughs> oh that, that was not just do. let me just link with two let's find the second one too that God has talked to about Mahama Willie can I prophesy? John Mahama is coming back. 2024, John is coming back. Can I prophesy? Listen, they will go back into minority. I hear the voice of the Lord, and I am the prophet of this life. Let the old men sleep and dream. We are the we say that they come to us. I said. And they fell like the timber. I said, Let this thing will have speaker of power. Hear me and hear me. Say yes, the Lord. God not to be ready for hustle. But I saw it to come. So Muhammad is coming back. 2024. If you don't be with it, Mumbo Jumano, Mumma Maninda, I mean, Mumma Maninda, police station, Mumma Maninda, you are saying, Yentimin to our dear whistle. 
somehow that same God this God is craft you is a very 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 witty God that same God has chosen this prophet and he's telling this prophet this time Mama dear no, I was lying you it is Bahumia listen to this prophecy you see what I'm talking about let's find another person to that the crafty God now I'm going to call God crafty just for the purposes of this show listen to the other one that the crafty God told about Baumia listen to this the lesson is on the seventh on the eighth the result will not come everybody shall be jittery the result will come on the ninth there are two people coming but the Lord has told me that by the ninth of December His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia shall be crowned the President of Ghana Folks, shall I rest my case? Are there two gods here? Or is that one almighty, sovereign, omnipotent, omniscient God that we are talking about? And now we are two and let me tell you another trick with these false prophets at least some of them go straight away and say say this is my prediction or this is my prophecy if it doesn't come through burn me <laughs> or burn my burn my church some of them go to that extent and tell you this others who are very 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 smart they include in the prophecy an escape clause do you know what an escape clause is okay give me one second to educate those of you who don't know when there's a contract between two parties that i'm having a contract with my editor here so we are signing a contract that he is going to be engaged in working for safa that's a contract there's always an escape clause in the contract that will say that i have agreed to do this and this and this and this and if i don't my staff has the right to leave anytime because i didn't fulfill the terms of my contract and to equally say if my employee is supposed to be doing this and that and that and if they don't I also have a right to say say I'm breaking the contract that is called the escape clause every meaningful contract has an escape clause so that when there is confusion or any conflict one person can always escape It's part of a contract now these fake pastors and we have to give them one more they give the prophecy they include an escape clause <laughs> like, like somebody prophesying god told me mahama is winning this thing hands down that's what god told me so mahama is winning hands down but god, god also added that Chale, his agents at the police station they must be very very vigilant <laughs> <laughs> they must work hard they must keep their eyes open. <laughs> Do you see the escape clause? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if Muhammad wins, the prophet's an album. If Muhammad doesn't win, he has an escape clause. Uh, but God told his police agents to be very vigilant. They were not vigilant. That's why they didn't win. You know? So they either give you the prophecy with an escape clause. Or they give you prophecy with no escape clause, but they give you conditions that they know, no matter what, who's going to go down and say, I'm going to burn down a church. Or I'm going to burn some, somebody. Let me, uh, let me strike a match and burn them. There's this pastor, I think he's from Zimbabwe, who also came up with a prophecy. And his prophecy was that Mahama is winning. Mahama is winning this election. This is who God has selected to win. Very, very sure. He's not in Ghana, but he has had some NDCBs winning. 
Trust me, he knows he has a he has a network in Ghana. He knows everything he's talking about. It's a lie to say, say when on T D put a, he had the, the, the name and this in a dream. Oh boy. He has a network he's working with. Anyway, let me move on. He says Muhammad is winning, but Muhammad has 30 days to call him. And when you call him, you come and stand on the platform and say, the, 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 whoever has called, all this, nyama nyama. Okay, fine. Mahama is winning. Evidently, he came back and said, oh, he didn't get a call from Mahama himself. The call came from the office. So the person came and said, well, uh, 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 the president didn't call, but his office called. And when he called, uh, the 10 days that uh, God has given him to give to Mahama, no, a trim. So I saw a man approaching the throne. As he was about to approach the throne, God said, wait. There are things I want you to do. One, two, three. There's three things. If you do them, you'll be the one to sit on the same seat. And he's supposed to be doing them within the next three months. If he has done it, I'll come back here and tell you straight. If he has not done it, I'll be here to tell you that time. If he doesn't do it, I'll tell you in the next 90 days that Mahama will not be president there. But I saw Mahama approaching the throne hmm. as if he wants to sit there. Hmm. And the Lord said, it's open. Just do one, two, three. One of it is a phone call. Three months window. Only three months window. He does that phone call even if he ignores the two. That phone call is important. If he himself doesn't call me, you will not get it. So they are calling everyone, I'm this, I'm the brother, I'm the cousin, I'm this one, I'm the secretary, I'm this. Hey, me. I tell you 10 days, you don't respond. You call some, you, your office is responding. So they called me yesterday, I said, no, look, I told you 10 days. So I need to think again. I, you play with me. And I understand the guy is really good. He's talking nicely. Please, I just want, can I come there? I said, this i need to talk to god now he said within 10 days you yourself not your office folks have you heard this thing before let me tell you something about all you are there who worship your prophets let me tell you the one red flag that you know your prophet is lying okay let me tell you this the God, according to the Bible that you read, is a sovereign God. According to the Bible that you read, he can even tell you the number of hair on your head. The God that you serve, according to the Bible that you read, is all-knowing. It's in your own Bible. Or see, even when you were in the womb, he had known you. He knew you before you were in the womb, and he set you apart. This is the kind of God who is definite and specific. So if your prophet tells you that, oh, God wanted to do this, but well, you didn't do this, so he has changed his mind, it's a freaking lie. He's a liar and a liar and a liar. And the prophets are listening to me. If you serve a God that changes their mind, you are serving. I don't know what God you are serving. Anyway, one time, we also are just on an aside. Some foolish rumors were going around. Oh, KSM, we atheist. <laughs> he doesn't believe in God. Folks, that is not the case. So. I tell people every day that the God I serve is not the same God that they, 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 they claim they are serving. My God is specific. He is omnipotent. He is... He is he is all-knowing. So if my God comes to tell me, KSM, this is what I have planned for you, that's it. Because it will be the same thing. God, like, can he knew me when I was in my mother's womb. Or before I got to my mother's womb, God said he knew me. So if it says, KSM, we're going to grow up to become a talk show host, blah, 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 blah. Well, can't, nothing will change it. God will never come and say, say, KSM, my plan is really for you to become a talk show host, but you are stubborn. You may try and go and do law, and then blah, 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 blah. What? The all-knowing God will give you a prophecy that somebody will win, but they didn't call you within some days until he has changed his mind. Fake. 
F A K E. Send a copy of this uh, online thing. Send him a link. If I if I get to know that pastor, I'll send him a link that I called him fake. Oh boy. And on that note, folks, because I'm wrapping up, somebody will win this election. You better win it, be our win it. But don't you think for one second that the person has won because some prophet has said it. And, and these prophets, they actually try and let their, their, their followers believe that they are demigods. I just have me many so was on them. Who born dog? Who born dog? All of a sudden, you are stronger than God. Things have to go through you in your church for the approval to get the high office. Not through God anymore. It's through your church. Who born dog? Charlie, I get emotional when I talk about these things because it's very, very painful. And one thing to that I've decided that. Whatever your faith is, your religion, the passive you believe in, I won't see anything again. I remember when I started in 1998, I was going on this crusade. I wanted to debate the pastors and show them that they were wrong. I'm saying, Charlie, me, I'll keep presenting the other side to people. If you are very, very